Hello everyone, welcome to Angular Upgrade Video Tutorial. As you can see on my YouTube videos and GitHub repos, I have tons of Angular projects which need to be upgraded to latest Angular version. In this video, I'll be upgrading one of my simplest projects called Vistar Management App. As you can see, this app was originally developed in mini stack, Angular 7, almost three years back. So now it's time to upgrade this. I suggest you to watch this video through playlist because in the first video I've shown you how to create a REST API from scratch. And in second video I've shown you how to deploy and host your REST API to the Firebase hosting. In this video I'll be doing a complete upgrade on this Angular project. So let's get started. Let's clone this repository git clone and give the address of this repo. And then as you can see there are two directories client and server. So let's go CD into server. First, we'll address the server part. So inside the server, as you can see, let me do an npm install. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a very, very bad command. I do not, you do not want to do it because you know, this app has been done almost three years back. And as you can see, it will throw a lot of errors here. See that? So the better way I would have done this is going through each and every file and addressing the problems. So let's go first open that uh, directory here. All right, inside server, let's open first file called readme, even though it doesn't impact this project directly, but let's go update few things here. So instead of Angular 7, I'm going to mark it as Angular 13, which is uh, the version as of, the, the latest version as of today. All right, let me save this. Now, what I want to do here, uh, let's look at the MIT license. Let's see the license as well. Save this. Okay, now I want to create a new file called .gitignore because I do not want my node modules to be included to GitHub repository. Okay, so let's mention node modules. And I also want to include uh, something package lock.json file because this file always gives a lot of trouble when uh, you, have, you know, upload the code to the GitHub repository. All right, this is optional, entirely optional, but you know, it's good practice to do that. Now let's open package.json file. And as you can see, all of these things need to be upgraded. So I'm going to cut everything here, remove everything, save it. And then I'm going to open a notepad, a blank file and just put it there. The only reason I'm putting it in a blank file there so that I can compare it, what, what my past version and what it has been upgraded to. Okay, so these, as you can see, these are all the packages, NPM packages I will need. Bcrypt, body parser, course, .env, express, JSON, web token, mongoose, and nodeman. And we'll go through these each uh, packages one by one. Let me just do the NPM install hyphen f and save. And let's just give these package names. So automatically what this NPM install it will do, it will grab the latest version of all of these packages here. It's going to take one minute. All right, now let's go open the package.json file here and open the, uh, the textpad file. Okay, now let's compare the version, what was there before and what has been upgraded to now. As you can see, bcrypt is now version five. Earlier it was um, version three, the same thing, like a lot of different packages, as you can see, everything has been upgraded. This has been three year old repository. Now we don't need the old uh, uh, text file here. So I'm just going to delete everything. All right, so here now everything is like, I'm not going to change anything else here, okay? Uh, of course, there's one thing I'm missing is .env file. .env is the file where I'm keeping all the functional configuration parameters. So for example, port number, MongoDB URL, uh, JWT secret, um, so all of those variables, I need to put it here. Okay. Allowed origin. Allowed origin will be using uh, inside the course. So again, if you want to know what these things are, please watch the video number one, where I've explained all of these packages in much details. Now everything is out there. I have already done the NPM install. Now let's go try to do NPM. Um, so what was the command? Package.json. NPM is start. Okay. So npm start, what it will do, it will execute node mon index.js. So I'm just going to shoot the command npm start. And as you can see, beautiful. I have seen not even a single error on my server side. Okay. So, and this is, I've, just, I've been just lucky. Otherwise, like usually there are some commands, some uh, places you have to change it. Again, though my server directory looks good, I wish uh, my Angular upgrade could be that smoother as well. So now let's go close this out. 
Now let's go CD into the client version here. I want to call out there are different ways to do the same upgrade. And this is the method I'm choosing is just like a more hands-on and traditional way. So first thing I'm going to do, because I know I'm upgrading from Angular 7, and I would expect a lot has been changed from Angular 7 to Angular 13. So what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to first create a backup. So let me just take your client directory here, inside client, and I'm going to create a copy, say move client to client underscore backup. And the reason the way I'm doing it, because a lot has been, especially the angle, the mechanism, the way Angular builds this project has changed. So that's the reason I'm doing it like this. So now let's go, there's no client exist anywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the client directory here. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up as a brand new Angular project. So to do that, first make sure that you have node installed and then NPM comes built in with the node. You don't need a separate installation. Next thing you will need an Angular CLI. Make sure that you have the latest Angular CLI version installed your machine. So NPM install hyphen G, that means globally, globally Angular CLI. I don't already have that, so I'm not going to do that again. Next thing you want to do, you want to check the version of Angular, Angular installation. NG version, it will show you what is the Angular CLI version installed on your machine. Next thing you want to do here, ng new, and you want to create a new project called, I'm going to just name it as a client, and I want to set up set up a routing, choose the CSS, and then hit enter. It's going to install all the necessary uh, NPM packages. All right, it's pretty fast now. Okay, now let's go ng, no, uh, you have to be in the directory where your uh, package.json file is. So cd into client and then you do the ng serve. It will install a brand new Angular um, version. Uh, sorry, it will start serving your Angular application on port, port 4200. All right, it will take a minute. First time when it compiles, it takes a minute. And after that, subsequent builds are very, very fast. All right, so as you can see, application is working so if you go open a browser window and go to your local host 4200 you will see an, your angular application running all right perfect so now this was the application um, this is a brand new application of course this is not the application what i had so let's go go back to your cloud client backup file here and i'm going to copy paste one file at a time so let's go um, uh, at the root of the directory as you can see first file is the angular json file here so angular json file i believe there are a couple of places i have to make changes so for example i am using my own style sheets which i had like you know under a source as a as a directory and inside as a directory i created another css folder so i'm going to copy paste this and same thing with the favicon ico files so make sure all the assets images css file um, I'm just going to move this over here. So let's go to the new version of angular.json file. And here I'm going to in, remove that old styles.css file path and uh, include the new version. Same thing with the favicon.ico. I'm going to include this here. All right, save this. I do not think that I do need to make any more changes here in this file. I'm done with angular.json file. Let me close this. Okay, next thing I want to do here Let's open package.json file here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy paste the old version and the new version and put them side by side. So as you can see, I had the, my old version was 7.22 and the new version is, is 13. And I'm going to, you know, make sure that each and every package what I used in my past version is already included. So this is the, you know, you have to be very careful. Here I am manually browsing through each and every package and make sure that I'm not missing out any package. And of course, all of these packages are using the latest version. So 13.3, which is the latest version as of today. All right, save this. Next thing I want to do, go back to index.html. And remember, we have changed the uh, file, the favicon.ico file has been located inside assets and CSS directory. So let me copy that assets directory as well. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to change the path. So assets icons. Uh, let me just include all of these things here. Okay. You don't need that because you have already included those in angular.json file here. So you only need to change um, that favicon.ico. Okay, remove this, save this. Okay, that looks good now. 
package.json file i've already done that so anytime just make sure that if you have any new file make sure to do the npm install again if there are any new packages have been included okay. otherwise uh, so let me check environment.ts file environment.prod.ts both looks good now all of these files as you can see i have let's copy this app directory and ss directory and i'm going to move the entire all of this folder so basically whatever inside your src directory copy paste the entire thing here but be you know make sure that you glance through it and do not copy any files which you do not need uh, and you want to use like you know, config or all of this browser like all of those um, packages files please make sure that you are using the latest version otherwise just copy paste the all the content which you have written so in my case inside the source directory as you can see i had assets folder inside source i have app folder and i have couple of views folders so those have been included so again let me do an npm install one more time i as you can see i have found um, because there is no new packages i added so it just worked as is okay now let's go ng serve one more time and this time i have copy pasted the new i mean the old source kit source code no i think i did some mistake here oh yeah i just did the replace again and this is what you should expect you should expect a lot of different type of errors so as you can see i'm going to uh, there's a it's not going to compile that's for sure okay because it's been really old code so let, let me open one file at a time so let's go to the sign up component.ts file and actually it doesn't look that bad so as you can see most of these errors are mostly cost not actually cosmetic they are more compile time error so if you hover over this for example private query subscription click on quick fix so you will see that add um, you know it's it's a pretty easy fix okay so for example most of the time when the data type is not info that's what is complaining about the only thing you know one place is complaining that it doesn't understand uh, you know the JSON format like this so for example it, it is uh, it's expecting an object here so let me define a res and is uh, of is going to be of type object okay so index is of type string and then I'm going to define a type of any okay we're still not happy about it let me change the name so res okay it's in caps now i'm going to replace the rest of the places where i have called this result okay so see so this looks like it's not that bad fix so i could have done in global you know find and replace into the entire directory because you know, most of the places i'm reusing the same code over again but i just wanted to show this one example at a time now let's go open another file called login component.ts file here same changes i'm going to apply the quick fix form data i'm going to apply i'm going to infer the data type as any here define the res object and change this instances to res okay i'm going to do a control d and do a global replace all right so that looks pretty good so uh, these are the same changes i will be doing across all of those remaining files i'm not going to you know go through each and every file instead let me do one thing let me just uh, show you the git diff so that way you can and you can do that if you go to my github repository you will be able to see the entire place so again i don't want to waste your time and you don't want to watch uh, one file at a time me doing a changes to one file at a time instead what you can do make sure that it compiles pretty good as you can see and next thing you want to do here open any file and uh, click on the get diff and it will tell you exactly the changes have been done as you can see the changes of for example uh, this angular new version is very you know sneaky it doesn't so for example if you have included a component.cs file if you know if you do not when using it it will complain about it so it's better to you know get rid of all the unused things so same same thing about the data type it's pretty much very strict about the data type you can get away with that if you uh, update your settings in ts config or your compiler setting but i do not recommend that instead just follow the you know good practice guidelines so as you can see in component.html file i had uh, no no more changes to make let me just go through a couple of other files here uh, i did component.ts well most of the changes as you can see is pretty much it's not i don't want to call it a cosmetic is mostly because of the strict compilation error so for example form data and here i'm going to inform the data type so that's uh, that's all the changes we have been doing okay let me just show you one last thing is called uh, a backend service 
So because that's uh, that file has been written a little bit different here. Let me do the git diff so that you can see the changes. Same thing. So there are a couple of variables. Uh, I just like you know declare them as of type any. Usually you know you what you want to do depending on your code. Please you know um, please uh, apply appropriate data types here. Second thing I had to change is the REST API. Again please refer to the um, tutorial, the video tutorial number one, if you want to know how to build your REST API from the scratch. Another thing is complaints about if there is something called null. Um, so it doesn't let you you know accept the null. Uh, it does a null check on that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to still uh, define the blank, um, as you can see, blank token if the token is not available. So it's always a good idea to always do a null check anyway. So I'm just going to apply those changes at the different places. And otherwise, other than that, I have a couple of other changes. Please do the git dev so that you can see all the changes I have applied. So I think that's pretty much it. It was a very simple project, but uh, I have uh, tons of different more complex projects. So if you are interested, then intentionally I took the only simple example. If you want to know how I have implemented the other, I have, uh, how I have at the more complex projects i'll be making those videos soon or you can go to my github repository thank you again thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up follow me and if you have any questions any concern please open a github repository github issue and i'll i'll be happy to help you out thank you very much